good, wonderful morning, everybody. You're a puppy. <laughs> yeah. camera out so hey hello happy boy -o. they were up, a little bit upset because I didn't go out for a walk today I said no nah. lazy day today this is oh yeah I like lazy days we get to stretch and roll and hang around upside down and yeah. Yes. Nothing like a nice lazy day every now and again. All right. Hey, baby girl. She's been upside down inside, so she's been enjoying herself, kicking every now and again. The dreams. And I've had to uh, stake the. Uh, the peach so let's put that metal stake in tied it because the peaches are getting a bit too heavy up the top and they're starting to change color they're starting to get a bit red every now and again every now and again and we'll be watering the uh, the apple And you can just see it through there that they've got a machine, like a little crane, big crane I should say. So what they're doing is they're putting down uh, big logs, two rows of big logs, going to the neighbour, and down the, the uh, and that's to shore up the, uh, the dirt. So I'm not really too sure how they're building it or what's actually going on there. The council plans say it's four units. Uh, uh, is it four units? Three units. Four units. Four units of uh, three are two bedroom and one's a three bedroom. Three bedroom is out the front. And the driveway is... Uh, right next to the uh, unit, the driveway net for the unit next door, so it makes basically a double driveway. But that's not what the uh, Louise told me. And Louise is in the, that back end unit. And she said, "No, the driveway's going on the other side of the road of the uh, the property." But that's not what's on the plan. The uh, owners are in uh, are building it for dis people with disability. So I don't know how a two-storey building will go with people with disabilities. So I've got my suspicions is that there's plans that are still being drawn up and not with the council because there's only one set of plans on the council website so I reckon that they're going ahead doing all this work without council approval and the reason for it is that the pad whatever pad they put down will be the same whether it's a two, two story, single story, whatever it's not going to make any difference so they're doing everything now, hoping that the building gets approved. Just to uh, get some of the building works done now. Um, they've even put in a power pole. So now there's two power poles. And I don't know why, nobody can, un even Erin uh, next door, who so is in this unit, she's out shopping at the moment. Oh, out, out to a a tea, a morning tea, and even she doesn't know why they've put in a new power pole. Because now there's two power poles. 
on this side of the street. One's got the lamp on it and then there's the one next to it. And look how close they are. I don't really know how it, it's basically just one on one side of the driveway and one on the other side of the driveway for this unit. So why would you put two right next to each other unless it's a load issue that because this is a uh, three units here so and they can um, so that that's all you can have on that pole and with the other one going to have another four units on it it's going to overload the first pole so they've put it on a created a second pole the other thing well Wolfie's going to toilet the other thing is, is that it's not a very tall pole so if they are going up two storeys surely you would need a bigger pole for that than that because it has to go to the roof of the unit the new units and that pole's not long not tall enough so I don't get that so maybe it is they're planning to put in one a, a single story unit which is really neither here nor there for me I don't mind it um, single story would probably be beneficial for us in the way that we don't have people looking into our property into our yard or into our house but a double story will add value because they'll be selling for a lot more the other thing is that house there this is that this house and there's one out the front there which you can't really see behind the trees that used to be one block these three blocks my block next doors and the one on next to that are all the same size and what they did is they've subdivided that block because there's a road on the other side so subdivided and built two houses so that one there is up for sale that one sold oh, about nine months ago or probably a year ago probably a year ago and now that one there is up for sale and it's on such a small block basically it's the size of the house there's no backyard so they've sub subdivided you've got this one here which is still the same size block of land the house behind me has got the same size block of land as what I have but their house is set further back from the street by a couple of meters So there's not many blocks of land around here a lot of people are just subdividing because if you think about it that each block of land subdivided is worth nearly twice the amount so these blocks of land are worth about two hundred and sixty thousand to two hundred and eighty thousand dollars each but you can sell half of it for around about 230 so you can sell them for 500,000 for one for for both blocks compared to 280 for the one block and that's the way things are going you can't get nice big blocks of land anymore and it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller we'll leave you to it everybody We've got a lovely sunny day, a few clouds. It's going to be warm though. See ya, have a good day everyone.